Initially, I went into medical school thinking I'm going to be a plastic surgeon. No way if you told me that in a year's time, all of those views would be challenged and I would completely do a 360 and go somewhere else with my career path. And I can't remember how it was, but I came across some literature about this new course at UCL and it was like reading all my interests on one page. I had a bit of an epiphany realising that it was possible for me to combine my interest in medicine with my wider interest. The course ranges much more widely than the first two years, which are very scientific and very physiologically based. And it looks more at what causes disease and the, things, the social factors that transect to, to cause disease in an individual. Never have I ever been exposed to so many different things in a short period of time. For the first time, you know, the, I felt that somebody was actually really genuinely interested in listening to what we had to say and, you know, they were actually allowing me to formulate my own ideas and, you know, challenging my opinions and opening me up to the fact that there isn't one right answer. It's nice to have the freedom um, to study the modules that you're interested in. Pursue that quite rigorously in your dissertation. Explore your area of interest much more freely than you can in, in parts of the medical course, which I really enjoyed. I was in a room with like-minded people. You know, everybody wanted to do something to make a difference and ended up, at the end of that BSc, you know, just completely inspired and um, invigorated to do something um, different with my life. I think I went from being quite a naive adult, keen to change the world, to becoming a bit more realistic about uh, my place in the world, and much more empowered to slightly start to change the world. Studying the BSc in International Health broadened my scope to be a good doctor, I think. Because of those key elements of a doctor being having decent scientific knowledge and a decent knowledge of the person's you know, social um, conditions that would have led up to illness and also being able to communicate with patients, I think the latter two of those are really built on in the, in the BSc. For me, the BSc completely has served as a platform on which I've been able to build the various aspects of my career. I discovered that I would probably be much more useful as a clinical academic and decided to do my PhD. I think doing International Health worked as a springboard for my, for my career, my CV. I did, managed to do very well in the course. I got a publication from it. I spent about six weeks in Nigeria with um, the United Nations and WHO looking at my application form for when I did decide to do obstetrics and gynaecology. Um, I think, you know, that definitely did set me apart from the other candidates. You know, I owe, owe a lot to that year. I definitely changed as a person, which, which for me, you know, I, I'm really grateful for, grateful that I did it.